the atoms molecules or ions that have absorbed radiations are said to be excited these excited atoms they are not stable in the excited level they return back to the original ground energy level during their return from the excited state they emit certain radiations the spectrum of these emitted radiations is called as the emission spectrum so emission spectrum is the spectrum of radiation that is emitted by an atom that has absorbed energy how emission spectrum of a sample can be produced when an atom is heated that atom will go to excited state and the excited state is not a stable state for an atom in order to achieve stability that atom emits some radiation so these emitted radiations are made to pass through a prism and it is recorded using a photographic film or a detector the spectrum obtained will have colored lines against dark background the emitted lines will be colored whereas the background will be dark for the emission spectrum of atom after understanding about the emission spectrum now you can start questioning what is absorption spectrum then how we can come to know that which radiations are absorbed the spectrum obtained by absorbed radiations are the absorption spectrum so how absorption spectrum can be produced is a question now when light is made to fall on an atom which is unexcited it absorbs certain radiations remaining radiations are transmitted so these transmitted radiations are passed through the prism and they are detected by the photographic film or the detector in the absorption spectrum you have dark lines and colored background so you can tell that absorption spectrum is the photographic negative of emission spectrum if you record the absorption spectrum and the emission spectrum for a same sample whatever the lines are missing in the absorption spectrum those lines will be present in the emission spectrum i mean to tell the absorbed light which is identified in the absorption spectrum will be found as colored lines in the emission spectrum